beautiful people, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to take the Anastasia Brow Wiz in chocolate. And I'm going to comb out my brows first because you know things can get wild sometimes. So I'm just going to start um, shading them in. I like to keep my natural shape. And so I go darker at the end of my eyebrows and in the front I go a little like lighter. And take the Professional by Benefit. Primer, and I'm going to rub that on my face, well on my cheeks because I have like large pores right there. And so I'm going to just rub that in. And then next I'm going to be taking the Nivea Balm Shape um, and just rub that in. Nikki, Nikki Tutorials talks about it and it is truly amazing. It makes your um, makeup last like all day. It's like glue for your face basically. So I'm going to take my um, concealer in the Max Studio Finish Concealer, MW30. And um, I'm just gonna conceal my dark circles, any blemishes I have. Like today were really, really bad because I didn't get no sleep, but I am anemic, so. So I'm just gonna finish concealing. I got a lot of blemishes right now. I don't know why, I just broke out this week. But next I'm gonna take the Beauty Blender, just blend that all out so it can be nice and blended. And now I'm going to take my MAC Studio Fix Fluid in C45 and um, I just put that all over my face with my finger because if I like pour it out or something, I don't have the pump. I need to buy the pump. That's what I need. I need to buy the pump so I don't waste foundation. And then um, I just go ahead and take the Real Techniques Sculpting Brush. It's like for contouring, I think, but it works great for... Um, foundation like presses it in and then after I do all of that I'm highlight with the um, Maybelline Age Rewind and I think it's called Fight Pale so I highlight under my eyes I make like a triangle and then I also highlight on my nose and my forehead and my cupid's bone I think it's called cupid's bone I'm not sure my laugh lines and chin and then I go ahead and just blend that all out with my Beauty Blender. And then I take the L'Oreal Mercier. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> and just, you know, bank under my eyes. And then I take the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I go ahead and put that on all over my lids to prime. And then I take this little palette from Sephora. It's called Wonderful Dreams. And I just want to set that primer, and I think it's called Soft Cookie. Yes, yeah, Soft Cookie, and I just put that all over so it just sets it so it doesn't like tug on your skin or anything when you add eyeshadow. So I'm going to take all that extra powder off, and then I'm going to take these eyeshadow shields I got off of Amazon. And I just line them up so I can get that sharp eyeliner, girl. Who doesn't like sharp eyeliner, but these are great. You get them on Amazon. Actually, my mom bought them for me. Thanks, mommy. So now I'm going to take the Naked palette from Urban Decay. Sorry, it's so dirty. Like, I really, like, am messy with my stuff because I'm always in a hurry. So I'm going to take the shade Naked. I'm going to go ahead and put that in the crease. Just to um, build up, you know, trans... Um, build up the crease color so I'm going to go ahead and put in the crease and then I'm going to take the shade Buck like one of my favorite colors I'm going to also put that in the crease and just yeah see my hands are really really dirty like it got everywhere it was horrible and I didn't have nothing by me to wipe my hands on or anything so yeah my hands are going to be dirty in the whole video sorry about that <laughs> And then next, I'm going to do the other eye, just blend, blend, blend. And now I'm going to take the Equals Tool brush that I think you can get at, I think I got that at um, Ultra or Walmart, one of them. I know they sell them at both places. But I'm going to take the shade Virgin and I'm going to put that all over the lid. I love this color. First, I'm going to spray my brush with Fix Plus, Max, Max Fix Plus. I love it. It makes it like more intense and the color is like a really soft glittery oh, with a light like pink tone to it. It's really pretty. 
So I'm going to go ahead and put that all over the lid. Just make sure you just pack that on, girl. I love shimmery stuff and glittery stuff, so that's one thing you guys should know about me. I love it. And then I'm going to get some more Fix Plus, and I'm going to take the Naked Illuminized, um, it's like a highlighter, but it's like really glittery. I don't really like it for my face. So I use it as an eyeshadow, and it is so pretty. You can't really tell how glittery it is. It's like sparkly, but in the sun or like in person you could tell, but I'm recording on my iPad, so it's not that great quality. I'm sorry about it. Hopefully in the future I get a camera. I actually have a camera. I just need um, a battery. But sorry, I'm going off subject. Now, I'm going to get the shade Buff again, and I'm just going to um, blend it all in, like no hard lines and stuff. And then I'm also going to take Hot Cocoa in the Sephora palette. I think the Sephora palette was actually just $10. It's really cool. I like it. It's so small. You could take it with you anywhere. But I'm going to take that and I'm going to put on my outer V, like on my outer eye, to make it a little bit more smoky and intense, like a little darker. Because who doesn't like a smoky eye? Well, it's not that smoky, but just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the other eye. And then I'm going to take the equals brush echo equals sorry it's called echo I think yeah echo and then I'm going to take the soft cookie again and I'm going to put that on my brow bone so it could be a little brighter it makes it a little cleaner because I need to get my eyebrows done <laughs> and then I'm going to take this other brush it's like a pencil brush I got it at Sam's Club in the pack I love when Sam Club and um, Costco have little packs of brushes because they're actually really good. I love them. And they're not that expensive either. So I'm going to just blend that all out with a clean brush. And now I'm going to take the NC, um, what's it called? NYC um, liner, liquid liner. It's like $3. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I love it. It dries matte and it's like really, really, really black. I love it. So I'm just going to do a wing liner. Sorry if you hear like a lot of noise. This is my first time recording or even making a video. And I just hit the little microphone so I think it might make a noise. So I'm just going to um, make a wing. I'll make a video later on how to do a wing. It, take, it actually took me a long time to do it. Not in the video but to learn how to do it. See how nice and clean that looks when you have the shadow shadow blocker thing? And now I'm going to curl my eyelashes with the best eyelash curler in the world. I got it from Sephora. It was like $20. It's a lot, but it works really good. And so I'm going to take the um, pencil brush again. And I'm going to go in my lower lash line. And I'm going to put like basically all the colors I put on top. I'm going to put at the bottom. So, like, again, I'm going to take a buck and just put it there. Blend it back and forth. I'm not really good at this part yet, but I'm learning. You guys will see the process. I mean, the progress, sorry. So, I'm just going to take that, and then I'm going to take um, hot cocoa again. Actually, I don't think it's hot cocoa. I think it was another color. Or maybe I'm wrong, sorry. <laughs> I'll put it in the description box. And now I'm going to take just the brown shades in the palette and just go under basically everything I did on top. Like I said before, just under. And I don't really like putting eyeliner on my bottom lash line because it's an everyday look, kind of. So now I'm going to take the... Becca highlighter and just put it in my inner corner just to brighten it up a little bit. I think it's opal, called opal. And now I'm going to take the L'Oreal telescopic mascara. I usually use um, Better Than Sex by Too Faced, but I just ran out, so I'm going to go ahead and use this and curl them again. Just make sure they dry. I actually waited a while for them to dry. 
but you know, I edited that out. <laughs> so I'm going to take the Anastasia Contour Kit in Medium, and I'm going to bronze that face, girl. And that's the Real Techniques brush. I think it's called a buffing brush. Yeah, it's amazing. I love Re Real Techniques. Like, they're so affordable, and their brushes are, like, so good. Like, really good. But I'm just going to bronze my cheeks and forehead and do under my neck so it doesn't look crazy, like, different colors everywhere. <laughs> so I just do that. And then I take the Smashbox brush, and I'm going to take the darker shade, and I'm going to contour slightly, not too much today, but just a little bit. And sorry, everything's like so, like all my palettes are still messy, because I'm always in a rush doing my makeup. Cause I have three babies, I have a one-year-old, two-year-old, and three-year-old, I know, crazy. But I'm always in a rush to do my makeup, so everything's always so messy, I need to clean them. At least my brushes are clean, okay? <laughs> so now I'm going to take um, the bronzing shade again. And I'm just going to contour my nose a little bit. Um, yeah, I didn't do that much this time. I just did a little bit. And then now I'm going to take this e.l.f. blush palette. Like, it was so, like, cheap, and it was, like, the quality is not cheap at all. It's very pigmented, so I only take a little bit. I like to mix the colors. They're really, really pretty. I love it. So I'm going to go ahead and just mix the colors, and then I'll apply them to my cheeks. Like, you really just need a little bit, like, or build it up. Like, you do not need a lot at all because it's very pigmented. And then um, I'm just going to... You know, put my blush on. And then I'm going to take this powder brush that I got from Sam's Club. It's so cute. And just blend it all in. Or just blend everything. And then I'm going to take the Becca highlighter again. And then I'm going to do my favorite part. Highlight. Like, seriously, I would have highlighter, like, all over my face because I just love glittery stuff. Anybody who knows me, I love glitter. Like, it's everything. It's life. No, seriously, it is like my life. I love glitter. I probably put a little bit too much on, but who cares? You can't really tell in the quality of the video, but in person, you can tell. I have like a little disco ball on my nose and everything. <laughs> so I'm going to take the Laura Mercier um, trans translucent powder, and I just put it on um, where, like, my foundation comes off sometimes. Now I'm going to take the MAC Lip Liner and strip down. It's like so good. I love it. It's like perfect nude for me. So I'm going to take that and just apply that to my lips. I didn't overline a lot today. Just slightly because my bottom lip is like huge. Well, at least I think so. So I like to overline just a tad bit on the top just to even it out a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I put um, the lip liner like all over. And make sure the lipstick like lasts longer. Well, at least that's what I noticed for myself. So now I'm going to take this MAC lipstick. It's like my favorite. And it's in kind of sexy. It's like. This was actually my first MAC lipstick. I know. Where have I been? But I love it. It's so pretty. And like, seriously, it's a matte, but it feels like smooth when you put it on. Even when you're wearing it, it feels smooth. It doesn't feel drying or at all. It's so pretty. And it makes your lips look a little bit bigger, which, hey, who doesn't want that? And now... I'm just going to to take the powder brush again and just blend everything out. Make sure it looks good and blended and not all crazy with lines and stuff. So this is my go-to look for today. Well, I do this like if I'm in a rush and I don't have that much time. But I hope you guys liked it and I hope you guys subscribe and like this channel. And you guys could also follow me on Instagram at Alexandria underscore Ann 23. Bye.